Grey and welcome to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of silent shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. Humans aren't renowned for our sense of smell, especially with dogs and bees being able to smell out cancerous tumours, but our noses are giving us a surprising amount of information, even giving us information before we've left the womb. Babies will quickly learn their mother's smell, even learning it before they're even born. This allows them to detect their mother after birth. For example, if you position a baby between two breast pads, one that smells like their mother and one that smells clean, they will spend significantly more time on the one that smells like their mum. Or if a mother puts perfume on a breast during breastfeeding, the baby will spend significantly more time on the breast that smells like their mother than the one covered in perfume. This is evolutionarily advantageous as it allows the baby to detect its mother, which is obviously a source of food, and it's one of the many reasons why skin-on-skin -skin contact is encouraged after birth. Babies develop their sense of smell surprisingly early, being able to smell throughout the third trimester. At week 17 of pregnancy, babies start to swallow amniotic fluid and they'll start to breathe it in at week 25. Because whatever you have eaten passes into the amniotic fluid, babies can smell and taste what you have eaten. And rather interestingly, babies are programmed to not like garlicky or strong smelling foods because this helps them to detect and avoid potentially harmful substances. But if you eat a lot of garlic during the last stages of your pregnancy, the chances are that your baby will be born liking garlic. And that's it for this episode of Grey Matter. Stay tuned for next time.